So emergency medicine is perfectly capable of making us happy. It has all the ingredients there. But the other thing I mentioned was for it to be a great job, it's got to be good for patients, is it? Let's take an extreme example. Let's imagine there's no emergency medicine. Let's imagine this is France in the 1990s. I went on a skydiving holiday when I was an ED registrar to the south of France. And one member of our party sprained his ankle. He didn't land heavily, he landed awkwardly, and then while walking forwards, rolled his ankle. I examined him, he was still able to walk. He had no bony tenderness, he had minimal tenderness um, or pain over the lateral ligament complex of his ankle. I said to him, I think this is a sprain, you probably should ice and elevate this and we'll have another look tomorrow. But a helpful bystander had called an ambulance because he was insured. He said, well, why don't I go to hospital and get checked out, but come with me if you like. I said, okay. So we went to this hospital, it was really lovely. It had doctors' names on plaques on the wall, it had tinted windows and plastic plants, and it was really, really, really quiet, this hospital. And a friendly nurse greeted this guy and said, I'll organize an x-ray and call the orthopedic surgeon. Does that stuff, the orthopedic surgeon comes down, looks at the x-ray and says, you have a fracture, you need a cast. So I had a look at the x-ray and I said, I hope you don't mind, but clinically I don't think there's a break. And doesn't that look a bit like an artifact, this longitudinal lucency and the distal fibula? Could that be artifact in view of the clinical findings? No, it is fracture, it needs cast. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so he gets the cast, he's on the crutches, his holiday's over, and he goes home. And this guy had the decency to email me three weeks later and say, you know what, they took the cast off and they did some more x-rays and they examined me and they said it was definitely a sprain, I hadn't broken it. Sorry about that. Thanks for your time. And that was interesting. Had the orthopedic surgeon done anything wrong? We could easily criticize him for not examining the patient. But in a way, no. What that system missed was someone that can deal with an undifferentiated patient, someone whose career it is to, to make these calls. Had any decent nurse practitioner or ED registrar examined that patient, they would have applied a validated clinical decision instrument, conclude that patient doesn't need an x-ray, doesn't need an orthopedic specialist, and none of that stuff would have happened. But once faced with an orthopedic referral, he had orthopedic management. And we all say that to a man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And of course, most orthopedic surgeons are men with hammers. <laughs> so when emergency medicine doesn't exist, I think there's this unquantified cost, this unquantified inconvenience and misery and pain to patients. If you think about where we sit in the healthcare system, we protect patients from the rest of the healthcare system. And we also protect the rest of the healthcare system from all these inappropriate patients. That's an amazingly important job. It's got nothing to do with resuscitation, but it's a really, really key, important part of what we do and why it's a great job.